Topless presents Five Children Who Were Raised by Animals. Number five, Wolfman. Marco Rodriguez Pantoja was just six or seven when he was sold to a hermetic goat herder. After the goat herder's death, Marcos was left alone. He learned to hunt rabbits and partridges with traps. He established a special bond with some animals and lived alone with wolves in the Sierra More for 12 years. He claims to have survived after being adopted and fed by them. In 1965, at 19, he was found by the Guardian Civil and taken by force to a small village in, in the village of Fusilente, where he was eventually civilized and now lives a normal life. He can still reproduce the sound of a deer, the fox, the booted eagle, and other animals. A movie and documentary have been made about his amazing survival story, and he now gives lectures to kids at schools to teach them about wolves. Number 4. Dog Girl Ukrainian Oksana Malaya was found living with dogs in a kennel in 1991. By the time she was eight, she had lived with them for six years. Oxana's parents were alcoholics, and when she was a toddler, they left her outside. She crawled into a farm kennel seeking warmth and cuddled with the dogs, an act that probably saved her life. She soon ran on all fours, panted with her tongue out, bared her teeth, and barked. Because of her lack of human interaction, she only knew the words yes and no. The bond with the pack of dogs was so strong that when the authorities who came to rescue her were driven away by the first attempts by the dogs. Oksana now lives in a clinic in Odessa, working with hospitals farm animals. Number 3. Bird Boy in 2008, a Russian care worker rescued a seven-year-old Vanya Yodin, who could communicate only by chirping. After his mother raised him in a virtual aviary, the neglected child was found living in a tiny two-room apartment, surrounded by cages containing dozens of birds, bird feed, and droppings. The so-called bird boy did not understand any human language and communicates instead by chirping and flapping his arms. Social worker Galina Volskaya, who was involved in rescuing Yodid, found his home in Karoski Volgard. Said Yodid was treated like another pet by his 31 year old mother, who never spoke to him. First, Volskaya said, when you started talking to him, he chirped. Provada reported his mother had her own domestic birds and fed wild ones. She neither beat him nor left him without food. She just never talked to him. It was all the birds that communicated with the boy and taught him birds language. The mother signed an abdication form to release the child into care after he was discovered. He was temporarily transferred to an asylum, but later soon was sent to the center of psychological care, according to the report. Number 2. Monkey Boy After seeing his mother murdered by his father, a traumatized four-year-old boy, John Zizbenya, fled into the jungle, where he was reportedly raised by a troop of vervet monkeys, until his discovery by a tribeswoman or girl called Millie in 1991. As is often the case when feral children are discovered, he resisted capture from villagers who sought to take him in and was assisted by his adoptive monkey family. Initial reports suggest John Sesbanya's entire body was covered with hair, hypertrichosis, when he defecated and erected worms over half a meter long. Once captured and cleaned up, he was covered in scars and wounds. His knees were scarred from crawling. He was identified as John Sesbanya. He has been taught how to speak. He can sing too. In fact, he tours with the Pearl of Africa Children's Choir. John was a subject of a BBC documentary, Living Proof, screened on the 13th of October, 1999. 
And before we move on to number one, for more videos like this one, click the subscribe button here. Number one, Monkey Woman. Marina Chapman was born approximately 1950, is a Colombian born British woman who claims to have spent much of her elderly childhood in the jungle, only except for a colony of capuchin monkeys. Chapman stated that when she was four years old, she was taken from her village and released for reasons she did not understand. She spent the next several years following capuchin monkeys until hunters rescued her, by which point she had no human language. She alleges to have been sold to a brothel, to have lived on the streets, and been enslaved by a mafia family. She eventually moved to England where she got married and had children. Her daughter convinced her to write a story, and in 2013 she published her autobiography, The Girl With No Name.